A very good morning to you. This is a tech guru where we look at all things technical. Today we're going to be looking at Fitbit, how to sync and get notifications with iOS devices. So basically today we're demonstrating this using an Apple iPhone 7 and a Fitbit Charge 2 tracker. So to sort of sync and enable to get notifications we need to go to our settings page. So if we go to that and the first thing we need to do is go to Bluetooth. We'll actually need to turn that on so that the phone can talk to the actual tracker. So if we just select that, it should come up. OK, so as you can see there, um, basically the Charge 2 is listed in the Bluetooth categories. And it's just trying to connect. Bear with me. OK, and as you can see there, it is actually connected. So that's sorted there. So at least they're talking to each other. OK, now we need to actually go into the app itself. Um, obviously when you've this is assuming you've got the app on your phone so it's downloaded in the app store and it's all signed in um, so we need to go to the app next so just bear with me while I demonstrate that okay so once we're in the app what we need to do is actually go into the actual um, into the account itself so if we select that and then as you can see there we've got the um, the information listed so we'll go basically into the charge 2 tracker if we select that and in there you can actually see the details um, and one of them on the listed on there is the actual notifications and bearing in mind that sort of you can actually manually sync it at any time so when we're in the notifications we can actually ask it to sort of send notifications whether it's calls text messages calendar events etc so as you can see they're all on to turn them all off it's like that um, and just obviously to make sure they're turned on it's just a case of enabling all of them there Okay, so once the notification is all enabled, if we go back there, um, bearing in mind you can actually have an all-day sync, which is set as the default, as I understand, which is here, an all-day sync. But obviously what you can do is you can actually get it to sync as well at any time. So basically all-day sync is set, for example, but you can force it to sync by pressing sync now. So as you can see, that's syncing. Just let it go through the motions. OK, so that's done. Now, bearing in mind with these notifications, it can vary um, between fit, Fitbits as to what notifications can receive on the display. Um, this is obviously set up using a Fitbit Charge 2. Um, so just thought that'd be useful to demonstrate that. And one thing to point out is when you're actually uh, pairing the Bluetooth, if you get a message at any time, um, that asks if you want to um, pair with the um, Fitbit Charge 2 device, obviously just select it and then go through the um, instructions there and pair it. OK, so that really should all be ready to go now. And if we look at the actual Fitbit itself, bear with me. If we scroll through to notifications, that should be set as on uh, and also one thing to point out you can actually turn notifications off as well locally so if you just hold the button on the left hand side in that can turn the notifications on there so if you're out and about and you just want to turn them off you can obviously do that on your watch so that's off and that really concludes this video so just wanted to demonstrate today um, about Fitbit how to sync and get notifications with the iOS devices hope that's been useful um, if there's anything you particularly liked about the video today, please feel free to comment below. But in the meantime, um, if you want more information like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for listening and catch you again later. Bye for now.